I turn to my right, and I find here a uh, man who's played 10 years in the National Football League, now an analyst for Fox Sports, um, and a Super Bowl champion with the Green Bay Packers. Great to see you, Greg Jennings. Great to see Always good to see you, Rich. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a minute, as they say. Um, and you were talking about your bracket, that you've got a couple. You, you, you're a two-bracket guy? Yeah, I got it. Well, here's why. So I got a hopeful bracket mm -hmm. from the state of Michigan. Went to Western Michigan. I'm a Bronco, but I know you're a Kalamazoo guy. I'm, I'm Wolverine at heart. Like I see now. This is where things. Uh, I, I've had this conversation with you, and it kind of it, it tears me apart yeah, a little bit man. here, because you were offered by Michigan and then not offered. Is yes. that why you did not go play in that Ann Arbor? That is exactly what what took place. Um, I, I committed verbally, and like three weeks before signing day, they pulled out. They thought I was playing basketball. They used whatever excuse they would use, whatever. Um, and it was, this was the Lloyd Carr This was era. Lloyd Carr era. Jeez. So okay. we're getting ready to play. I'm at Western Michigan. We're getting ready to play Michigan. And Lloyd Carr's doing this interview. He's saying, you know, I'm sure they got some players on their team that feels like they should be here oh, or they deserve the right or had an opportunity. And I'm thinking, you're, ta he, you're talking to me. <laughs> like, you, nobody else – on this team, yes. had that opportunity. Like, you're talking to me. And, yeah, man, I went up there, and I, I had, like, three or four catches for, like, 60 yards on Marlon Jackson. You remember Marlon Jackson. Of course. He had yeah. a career with the Colts for, yeah, a, for a while. He had a nice pro career, Marlon yep. and Jackson. Then my career in Green Bay, Lloyd uh, Charles Woodson yeah. told me to stay down. We were playing Detroit, in Detroit. And he's like, gee, stay down here real quick. Lloyd Carr comes around the corner. And he apologizes for it. And I'm like, it all worked out. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm, all I'm where I need to be now. I mean, it all worked out. But he, yeah, he, he came up to you and he yeah, said, I'm it, sorry. It was, huh? it, was, it was cool. It was all good. I was heartbroken. I mean, like tears. That's all I wanted to do was go to Michigan. Mm. My sister was there. I'm, I was, yeah. Well, it all did work it out. It all did work out. And you played with the GOAT. And Woodson, I mean, he yeah, it's it's man. him and Brady on either side Special of the ball. Special player right there. Right? I mean, and he's going to be first ballot Hall of Famer. Without question. What do you think is going through Jordy Nelson's mind right now, Greg? A lot. Um, a lot weighs into moving on. If he decides to move on, um, there's a lot of value, uh, valuable things that he had and he still has and hold on to and hold dear in Green Bay uh, and a lot of variables that come into play m to move on to a situation where you're with a younger quarterback um, in a young receiving room, new head coach, um, kind of not starting over, but getting a fresh new look uh, with the Raiders, if you will, if it works out. But I, me personally, like, and I can say this because I wore a different uniform, mm -hmm. I can't see Jordy in another uniform. Like, it's, it's hard for me to see him in another uniform it's for a lot of reasons. It's unbelievable that you who would definitely know f firsthand that it's a business, mm -hmm. okay? You know it is a business. It is you a business. You have dealt with it, okay? Um, that you still can say something like that. And it's interesting. I'm, I'm imagining, I do recall, you went to the Vikings because you wanted to pull a Favre, right? I mean, you wanted to go and just play against Green Bay twice a year and beat well, them. Is that was, part of it? <laughs> no. No, that had nothing to no, do with that, it? No, that really didn't have anything to do with it. For okay. me, it was... It was it was a con contractual deal. Uh, Green Bay wasn't willing to pay me. Um, and, you know, you hear all this hometown discount, all of that. Yeah, that's great. But the discount that they were asking for, it was beyond a discount. It was and an insult to the word discount? It really was. <laughs> and it was almost as if they had not they had taken for granted what I had done. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, I had to bet on myself. And I went to Minnesota, which was... Um, a struggle for me because I, I knew I knew what I was getting myself into from a quarterbacking situation, but I wanted to make it work, and it was a better situation for my family and I. And it's I mean we're still there, we're still there. You are. I'm still in Minneapolis um, with my family. Kids are all in school. My wife has her business, and I mean we enjoy where we are in life. But it's a lot of things come into play when you're making a decision to move on or to stay. I honestly think Jordy still is weighing in the back of his mind of coming back to Green Bay. 
somehow, it's some way, somehow, some way that 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 let's figure out the monetary aspect of it. I mean, I think he would love to end his career in Green Bay. I, I didn't want to leave. Nobody. Look at Drew Brees. Drew Brees didn't test free agency, not because he knew he could get more money or he was afraid that they would he would be offered so much. He didn't test free agency because of what we saw with. Zach uh, Strife, the, his retirement speech, mm -hmm. talking about how, how much Drew Brees meant to him and his drive and his passion and why he wanted to play the game at the level that he was able to play for so many years. It's more than just football. And I think that's what fans, uh, outsiders, don't quite put into consideration. It's not just about football. Jordy has spent his entire life football life in Green Bay, his family, the ties, the relationships that he's developed, not only with the players, but with those around surrounding the organization, uh, his philanthropic work. Um, he's got young kids too. Young kids. I mean, it. it's a lot that you have to weigh. Bay Area is a nice place to live though too. So, and I guess he, hopefully maybe, maybe that's what he's going to figure out, but I know exactly what you're saying. And, and you know, and it's, it's, it's never easy. It is never easy. It's and, never easy. you know, and Joe Thomas is going through something right now to mm -hmm. try and figure it out. And he said, his body told him that he's not ready to play anymore. Just as the Browns are starting to make all these moves, you know, which was, which was really interesting, very interesting because he was at one point lobbying for Kirk cousins. Yeah. And then it's like, no, so, I mean, it happens. It does. Greg Jennings here on the Rich Eisen Show. And Cousins is in Minnesota right now. He arrived today. How do you think that is going to work out, Greg? I, I really like the situation. Um, I talked to Kurt, uh, Kurt when he was in Minneapolis for the Super Bowl. And I, I told him this would be a great place for him to end up. I think Mike Zimmer, his personality, Kurt Cousins' personalities would match mesh really well. Um, the one thing that he has, the advantage that he has over a Case Keenum is his arm strength. And for those who don't play receiver or those who aren't an offensive coordinator or playing defense, you, you can take arm strength for granted. It's, it is everything. You, you allow your receiver to get the ball in their hands a little quicker. They have more opportunity for run after the catch. And with those weapons that he is walking into, the Adam Thielens, the – Stefan Diggs, the Kyle Rudolphs, um, the the young running backs. Like he has a lot to work with. The offensive line was shored up, and you have a safety net in your defense that you know they're gonna get you the ball back. They're not gonna put up a lot of points. It's a it's the perfect storm for Kirk Cousins. Yeah, and then guaranteeing all that money. That was the end of that. I think. I Even love it. Absolutely love it. He has changed. This is when I saw even the discussion. The possibility of it even happening, I was excited because there was at least talk of it. And in this league, and it's not for everybody. Everybody's not going to get guaranteed money. Everybody's not going to do it because as a general manager, as an owner, you have to be willing to invest in not just who they are as a football player, but who they are when, when they walk out of that building. Um, and can you trust that? Kirk Cousins, you can trust that. And he, he put he played himself in the situation, and he was the best available. So I, I love what he's been able to do. He hopefully others will follow. I'm sure others will try to follow, but <laughs> will they will they continue to knock down that door? Yeah, you sound like the you receivers. Doug Baldwin tweeted out exactly yeah. in less than 240 characters what you just said, that hopefully that this is not the last, that this will be the norm. Greg Jennings is here. I want to take a break because the next person who's going to probably ask for that is Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. And then there's Le'Veon Bell, what's going on there. And I just want to ask you what you thought of uh, all, all the free agent moves that we've just seen. Absolutely. Okay, we are here with uh, Western Michigan's Western finest. Michigan. Kalamazoo's native son, right? You yeah. born and raised there? Yeah, born right? and raised. Fantastic. So we got to also ask you what your favorite cereal is. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> Greg Jennings here on the Rich Eisen Show from Fox Sports. Back in a moment. All right, Greg Jennings here. Greg oh, Jennings my. picked Oklahoma. Did you pick Oklahoma? I did. Oof. I did. You know, I... I almost did just because anytime a team is told you can't 
You shouldn't. Oh, yeah. That's powerful. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. A, that's powerful. You're playing with all of that in the back of your mind, and it 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 pushes you to do a little bit more than what you possibly would have done. Did McCarthy do that for the Super Bowl? Because here's the Steelers. They just won, blah, 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 you know what? Big Ben and all that. Mick, he didn't. What he okay. did do was was do a great job of just making it a game. It's a football game. He didn't tell us. He said, the Super Bowl is for everyone else. This is a football game. We know who these guys are. You guys have played these guys. You guys have beaten these guys. This is the Green Bay Packers versus the Pittsburgh Steelers in another football game. And when he broke it down like that and he, everyone took out the elements of distractions of Super Bowl. Right. It, he was 100% right. We didn't care about who they were last year, the year before, what they had done. We knew who we were playing. Wait a minute. Now I'm remembering. It wasn't McCarthy who pulled that card. It was Woodson with Obama. Woodson did that. Because Woodson Obama Obama's picked the Bears yeah. to win the championship yeah. game. Yeah. Let's go to his house now. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And you're yeah. like, yeah! I mean, again, Woodson, <laughs> I, man, he, I that. he was not one who talk, spoke a lot. When Woodson speaks, everyone listens. Mm -hmm. And so for him to get up, he had not done that all year. It's It was like, okay, yes, okay, mm -hmm. whatever you say. I mean, when he said no egos, and I mean, we all, everyone can say it, but we truly eliminated all egos. Every ego was thrown out the door, out the window. That's what that's what made that team so special. And you won it all in the snow. I mean, what is it? It was a kind of a weird week. It was a it really you know, weird it was a week. snowstorm, a huge snowstorm. For, Pretty normal for us. I know for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit more with Greg Jennings and AJ Boye coming up. What a big sequence! That was incredible in Pittsburgh as Rhode Island just hit back to back threes to take a five point lead over Oklahoma. We're all excited here because the three of us, <laughs> Greg Jennings, here for another segment, we all chose Rhode Island in the first round of our yes. of our competition uh, where the loser amongst the three of us must wear clown makeup for all three hours on the Tuesday after the championship game edition of the Rich Eisen Show. Chris Brockman over ah. there is three for three in the first three years of doing this competition. Nobody I lose else every year, Greg. He does. <laughs> yeah. And if any of my children... My nine-year-old son, my seven-year-old son, or four-year-old daughter who chose brackets for the very first time. Okay. And she chose Duke to win it all because she loved the dog Duke from Secret Life of Pets. <laughs> I love it. If love we it. lose to any of them, we all three of us must wear clown makeup for that Tuesday show. And all three of my children chose Oklahoma to win this game and upset. I love it. And you chose Oklahoma as I well, I did, right? too. There's a lot on the line right I here. I did, too. Uh, okay, so do you think Aaron Rodgers is telling the Packers, I want, I want fully guaranteed? I want fully guaranteed because Kirk is... Uh, uh, he should. He, he should. Look, in, in this league, the quarterbacks have to be the ones that make, make this statement, make this jump. Um, they're the faces of the franchise. They're the face of the league. And if they're unwilling to do it, it won't be done repetitively by other players. Um, receivers, like, again, when I say as an owner and as a general manager, you have to be willing to invest big in the commodity that you're calling a commodity, the talent. And if you have any type of extras that is against what the team is trying to get done, i.e. like an Odell Beckham. Will he get paid a lot of money? Yes. Will it be fully guaranteed? Probably not because of what we've seen. Regardless of what the reality is, you know walking out of the door, there's a lot, there's other things that go on sure. with Odell Beckham. But with, with Aaron, he's got 13 screws in his uh, in his shoulder. Yeah, blade. but that's 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 12. That's. I mean, you. you hey, look. He you're, has you're not. You're not. Uh, look, you and I are on the same page yeah. about that's twelve. I just know what perhaps Mark Murphy and Gutekunst would come back at if he but says, he, "I want. Can't, I see what what our friend in Minnesota gets. Yeah, I they, should get mine." They know what they look like without twelve on the field. They do. They that, are. They're not. They're non-existent. They're not even competitive. Like, let's be real here. 
Aaron Rodgers is is it's everything for that organization and for that team. And without him, we don't even we don't even talk about the Green Bay Packers, quite honestly. And that that sounds harsh, but that is the cold hard reality. If Aaron Rodgers is not dressed in uniform on Sundays or Monday nights or Thursday night, we're not talking about the Green Bay Packers because the Minnesota Vikings will run away with that division. The Bears, who I think are making a lot of good moves and additions who have a really solid offensive line. They're going to be a lot better than what people think. And the Lions. Um, and are the about, Lions. By the way, it looks like they're about to sign Frank Gore, which, by the way, Brock, that's, that's, should I be a general manager of the Lions? I said that yeah, three I know, weeks you ago. You said that a while I ago. I did. I said that when we were when I was in um, Indianapolis for the combo. Yeah, it's a good call. Well, they haven't had a thousand yard rusher, a no. hundred yard rusher in a game. Put the inconvenient truth back there and yeah. let him run downhill. Absolutely, and give give Stafford some balance for for a yeah. change. Take a little weight off those receivers. Him. The King of Yak, Golden Tate, Marvin Jones. Come on now, that could be that could be huge. For I like that. I just, uh, real quick hitters uh, here. Uh, Le'Veon Bell. What do you think is going to play out there with him? <sighs> Greg Jennings. Man, I, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know. When it comes to running backs, it's always tough. I don't like the situation he's being put in uh, because he has to play another year uh, being tagged. Now they still could figure out a deal. But when you when you prolong a running back's opportunity to make that money, it almost eliminates his opportunity um, because now that's another year of wear and tear. And we know that running backs, they just don't last long in this league. Unless they're Frank Unless Gore. they're Frank Gore. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He is, you know, and I think that's why he's a little ticked off because it it, it, it prevents him from getting maybe that one extra contract here. Absolutely. Uh, but, I mean, he is franchise tagged. I, I think that's the way it's going to play out, unfortunately, for him. Certainly since he's, you know, uh, you see what the receivers are making. And yeah. I don't know if the Steelers are going to set precedence by paying a running back like, like a wide receiver. Um it's been great having you here, man. Absolutely, man. I know, you know, don't be a stranger down I'm here. Right I know, down the street, I know, know you're, I know you're just up the street in a way, but uh, I'd love to have you here Absolutely. a little bit more often. This was a lot of fun here. Absolutely. Uh, and then, meanwhile, Rhode Island has stretched the lead over Oklahoma to I seven. Know. They are on a flat out we got monster time. run. We got time. So, uh, is it is it wrong? This is what the madness is that I'm now rooting against my children. <laughs> Yeah. That is pretty much madness. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Okay. <laughs> they got to learn, you know, this is the eat or be, ki eat yeah, be killed. I know. Cutthroat. <laughs> Take that for one shining moment, kids. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Take that shining moment and go to sleep on time. Cho, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.